<laughs> I'm not pretending I'm not making it up. I've wanted these for years, mate. Back at it again with another recent pickup video. As you can see from that little clip, I'm pretty excited about the last kick. I'm selling off all that hype rubbish and I just focus on gel light threes. So if you're into ASICs and more than the hype, please subscribe. Yeah, so let's go. Okay, so the first kick, if you've seen my Got Any ASICs Manchester, where I went round every sneaker store in Manchester trying to find any ASICs gel light threes, and we only found three pairs, I'll link the video here. Uh, this was the pair I picked up. It's the Witherspoon Atmos uh, Gel Light 3. Uh, obviously released a couple of years ago. This one based on LA, this one based on Tokyo, being Atmos and Witherspoon. You know, it's obviously one of the best collabs that we've had in the recent few years. And the first thing Witherspoon did after he broke ties with Nike, sticking with that corduroy and multicolored color blocking, interchangeable stripes and everything. I'm sure you've seen these a thousand times, so I won't bang on. Very, very happy to have these, uh, a real asset to the collection. So next up is the snowflakes with a bit of a lace swap if you saw my last video on sort of sneaker cleaning hacks and things i actually featured these and um, because i bought them on vintage which is our like bottom tier sort of reselling website in europe and the uk and they were pretty battered to be fair yeah like on this toe box here you can see this stain i couldn't quite get out but you know i've sorted out the midsoles using a heat gun and everything so definitely check out that video um, these are just, these. do you know what? These are a kick that have really grown on me. I saw them on Vintage and I've been speaking with the seller, making offers for months, to be honest. And eventually they gave in, sold them to me for like 18 pounds, but it was 20 pounds all in after fees and shipping. And when they got it, I was, I'm just so pleased with them. They're so beautiful. Such a nice use of teal and, and these pops of uh, purple and they're kind of like the, the broke man's wasabis, I suppose. Yeah, these were a woman's release back in 2014. And like I said, I got them for 20 quid. I'm seeing them on other sites for like, someone's got them on StockX for about 400 quid. Obviously they're not gonna get that, but you know, they're, they're a really, really underrated GR. You know, I'm gonna rock these to death, but be careful because obviously the suede is pretty delicate and you just, if you don't want to get any wet stains on them because you're just screwed. Okay, only getting better now. So these are the Maldives, which if you saw my last uh, top 20 general releases, I had these at number 14 and I still think they probably should be a bit higher. But trust me, it's really hard. Once I sort of make my short list and try to organize everything, things keep changing, I keep swapping out. And the more I see these, the higher up they should be. Probably should be in the top 10 greatest general releases ever. Once again, I've done a bit of a lace swap for these sort of light teal laces, which I'm not sure if they work yet. But these actually came with um, the off-white Jordan 4s, which I've sold off now, but kept the laces because they're pretty special. Like I say in that video, these are actually inspired by the Maldives. I'm guessing some sort of head of management went on holiday or something. So you've got the lily white, which represents the sandy beaches. Then obviously this aqua green is, is the waters, I'm assuming. And then the soles and the tiger stripes actually have glow in the dark speckles, which represents the plankton that glows at night. So yeah, I mean, it's a really special GR. Definitely top 20, probably top 10. Is it top five? I don't know. I don't know, maybe, maybe. Um, well, let me know what you think. They're actually an auction on eBay um, and I've just been following it for about a week. They were on for like 51 pounds or something and no one had placed any bids. Again, a great reason to collect Gel Light 3s. It's quite easy to pick up some really decent kicks for a really good price. So we had them on eBay um, for like a week and then literally when it came down to the last 20 seconds, I think I put a bid in of 65 quid and then I was gonna wait for the last 10 seconds probably to go up to maybe 75, 80, but no one else bid and I got them for, for the, their starting offer at 51. So yeah, absolute steal, good solid condition, obviously used and everything, but you know, they're, they're looking good for their age, very happy. Okay, my next sneaker, um, I actually recorded when I picked them up. So I'm going to cut to that now and I'll come back to you in a minute. Babe, 
basically, uh, this just turned up and it should be one of my absolute grails. So I'm completely unprepared to be fair. I've just got a message of someone on Facebook who says it's arrived. So I ran downstairs to our little like, post room and it's just sat there. So I thought, fuck it. I'm, I'm too excited. I've all sod it. I'll turn the camera on and actually open it. You know, literally, it's just turned up so you can get my actual reaction to this. So yeah, I've, uh, if you've seen any of my videos before, I have mentioned here and there that this, this sneaker got me into gel light threes. And obviously because I'm, I'm selling everything off and I'm starting to just collect gel light threes, I thought you might as well start at the top and work your way down. I'm not pretending I'm not making it up. I've wanted these for years, mate. The Miami Beach, Miami Dolphins. One of Ronnie Fi's absolute gems, absolute best. So yeah, the Ronnie Fi Miami Beaches. Um, one of my absolute growls, as you saw in that video, I'm just absolutely buzzing to have these. You know, it's all about these, the volcanoes, the super greens, the leatherbacks, uh, the flamingos, just all. And if you uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you'd have seen I recently did like a Ronnie Five World Cup, and these actually came sixth overall, which I think to be fair is probably a bit low, but then the competition is pretty stiff. You know, these are the kicks that got me into gel light threes. They're just phenomenal, to be honest. I'm so happy to have them. A really, really beautiful high-end suede. Um, it's that that older shape. This shape's nicknamed the banana toe, which to be honest, I actually prefer the newer shape. I just think it's a bit more compact. So these are like the nice older shape, a bit more elongated. So that's how they come. That's how I'm gonna love them. You know, no discrimination here. You are what you are. And yeah, I'm going to Crep City, the biggest UK sneaker event in a couple of days. I'm gonna rock these. So we'll see if anyone actually says anything. Uh, and I'm going to do another Got Any Asics in Crep City because it's all full of hype and Jordans and everything. So we're going to try and hunt down some Gel Light 3s. So I got these for a Facebook group um, and eventually paid about £270, which is mad when you consider I sold my used Jordan 4 white cements for about the same money, about 280 I think. I'm wearing the white cements when I'm out and about. I don't care, who cares, it's just another shoe. But for the same money, I could be wearing this which is a grail to me, which I'll be ecstatic every time I put them on my feet for the exact same money. So again, that there sums up exactly why I'm doing this. They're so much more special. They're so much rarer. They're so much more interesting. Gonna get the rest of the ECP pack, gonna get the Knicks and everything else. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for them. So that's it for now. Please let me know in the comments what you think. If you like some, if you don't like some, what ones you wanna see me get. And I'll be doing another pickup video in a couple of weeks. So please subscribe if you wanna watch my journey to build this A6 Gel Light 3 collection. Also, if you wanna hear about other sneaker news, you know, where I cover things like Succony, Diodora, Mizuno, other types of Adidas, New Balance, no Jordans, no Dunks, no Yeezys. And I'm also gonna be doing Got Any Asics in Crep City. That will be out in a couple of weeks. So let's see if we can find any GL3s. Big up yourselves. Love to everyone. Brrr.